Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about an interesting topic, antibodies, otherwise called immunoglobulin. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Let's start with antigens. What do we mean by antigen? Antigen is also known as an immunogen, is any substance that induces the immune system to produce antibodies against it. Next comes antibodies. Antibody is also known as an immunoglobulin that is Ig. Antibody is a large Y-shaped protein used by the immune system to identify and neutralize the antigens such as bacteria, fungi, parasites and viruses. Next comes type of antibodies. Antibodies are otherwise called immunoglobulins, that is Ig, are classified into five isotypes. In order to remember it easily, we can use the mnemonic game D for the types, and the types are immunoglobulin G or IgG, immunoglobulin A or IgA, immunoglobulin M or IgM, immunoglobulin E or IgE, and immunoglobulin D or IgD. This classification is on the basis of their H chains. Let's look at the different type of immunoglobulins and their functions one by one. First comes immunoglobulin G, that is IgG. This immunoglobulin protects the body fluids and it comprises 75 to 80 percentage of the total antibody content in the serum and they are found in all body fluids. IgG is the smallest and the most common antibody. Immunoglobulin G is the only type of antibody that crosses the placenta and protects the infant until its birth. IgG facilitates the process of phagocytosis and provides immunity to the developing fetus. This immunoglobulin neutralizes the toxins and pathogens such as bacteria and virus and offers protection to the body. The next immunoglobulin is IgA. Its main function is protection on the mucosal surfaces of the body exposed to the outside environment. Immunoglobulin A comprises 10 to 15 percentage of the total antibody present in the breast milk, serum, saliva, vagina, tears, and fluids of the intestine. This is found in high concentration in the mucous membrane. IgA in breast milk protects an infant's gastrointestinal tract from microbial activity. It also provides the first line of defense against the pathogens and limits inflammation. Next comes immunoglobulin M, that is IgM. Its main function is to protect the bloodstream. IgM comprises 5 to 10 percentage of the total antibody present in blood and lymph fluid. IgM is the largest antibody and it is the first type of antibody made in response to infection which stimulates other immune cells. Next comes immunoglobulin E, that is IgE. IgE mediates type 1 hypersensitivity. IgE is present in the least amounts around 0.02% of the antibody content in the serum. IgE is present in the lining of the respiratory and intestinal tracts and responds to allergic reactions where it reacts to pollen, fungal spores and animal danders. Now comes immunoglobulin D or IgD and its role is not known. It comprises less than 1% of the total antibody content in serum. IgD is involved in the production of antibody by B cells and activation of B lymphocytes. So this is all about antigens and antibodies and their types. Here comes few important questions based on the competitive nursing exams. You can have a look at the questions and mention your answers in the comment box. First one is, smallest and most common antibody is. Second is, only type of antibody which crosses placenta is. The third one is, the largest antibody is. And the fourth one is, which antibody responds to allergic reactions. Please mention your answers on the comment box. So this is all about today's video. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.